Hello, welcome to a new short tutorial. I've been asked, how can you create your own slice samples for importing them into contact, battery and groove aging. So we got this short run loop. And now I want to create my own slices of this so I can have my own kick drum and my own snare or hi-hat and so on. And there are several ways. First, I can do this free by hand and do a cut here and here. But uh, it can be very tricky when we got this fast notes. So the next way can be I go to the hit points and we don't have any hit points say edit and now they are all created and now i go to the start and press not nb but alt nb so i'm always jumping to the next hit point and now i press alt x next hit point alt x alt x and you can create a macro for this and the next way can be I activate the grid. Now I take the, the split, the scissor. And you see, I can do this. Go to here, here, cut here. And the next version can be I, I've used the split tool. Go to the first eighth note and then hold the alt key there all in one but why does it not work because i've activated this one snap to zero and now i deactivate this one and now you see it's working okay so there are several tools to cut this one sample now I want to create my own samples and for this I got to export every single event. There are multiple ways. The first one can be press this event, press P. Now we go to export, audio mix down, choose the right settings and go to the next one. You guess this will take a lot of years. Next can be you create a marker track. We go to here, press P, create cycle, marker, go here, and so on. P, yes, you can create a macro, but this one can take a lot of time. So I show you a really fast way. Choose any of the events, doesn't matter which one. Copy it to the left side. Copy, not move. Um, and you see why I do this in a few seconds. Now I choose all the events, including the first one. And you can see I've prepared a folder called Projects Sounds. Now I go to Render in Place. I've got the render settings in here. Say dry when you want it. Have it as dry. Separate events. Custom name says drum loop i choose the right folder projects sounds and that's all no tail mode and something else you can see here all the settings and now press render Now we've got these different parts and perhaps you don't want to see them in Cubase. So you just can delete this track. It's gone. And let's have a look at our sound folder. Here you get all the different files. And this is the reason why I added this single part because the first file is not uh, numbered. This is just the second. So now you can delete this file or just 
don't use it. Now I want to use Groove Agent by Steinberg as a sample player. I choose the first 12 samples, so I don't start here. It's just a placeholder. I start at number one to number 12, drag and drop it into the Groove Agent. And now I got all my samples in here and can play with them and re-edit them and so on. See you on the next time.